That's really a mindfulness practice that's geared towards trying to take a behavior, which is normally about pursuit. Normally feeding is we're going, we engage in feeding because of dopamine. We pursue more of a food because of that pleasure pain relationship I talked about before. The focus on the one almond or the, or becoming very present in any behavior that normally would be a kind of extraoceptive pursuit behavior and bring it into the here and now. That's a mental trick or a mental task that the mindfulness community has really embraced in order to try and create increased pleasure for what you already have. It's really trying to accomplish a shift from dopamine being released to serotonin in the cannabinoid system being involved in that behavior. Dopamine has the quality of making people kind of rapidly in pursuit of things. Drugs like marijuana, the opioids, anything that um, really hits the serotonin system hard tend to make people rather lethargic and content to stay exactly where they are. They don't want to pursue much at all. So you've got these molecules like dopamine that make you focused on the things you want and the things you crave. And then you've got the molecules that make you content with what you have. So the most important thing perhaps in creating a healthy emotional landscape is to have a balance between these two neuromodulator systems. 